This one here is naked, naked liner. Naked, naked. Really pretty. And that's it, just there on the edge. Really, really nice color. I don't have any naked liners, so I'm really sure for that one. In Cinch. Again, another light kind of colour look, but it's not as light as the other one. It's really quite pigmented. Let's see? It's that one there in Cinch. And then this one here is Boldly Bay. I was loving going to the Matter Centre. My feet were coloured. I'm not used to going out shopping like that. I know it sounds silly, but I'm not. My feet were coloured. I wasn't even wearing massive shoes. Oh, heels. Another one, only little heels, I'm sure. Little heels. What the hell was I wearing? I was wearing kind of like, oh, you know, the grey type boots with, with, um, zippy up the flat. Got them in All Saints. The grey Johnny Depp type boots. But, so there was no heel, but I still hurt. So that, anyway, is Baldy Bay, this dark one here. I love that one. Really chuffed for those. My hands are full, look at that. Bits and pieces, and I've got no wet wipes down here with us. Next up, nail varnish. I'm going to take all this off and then I'm going to pick a colour. I might actually put a colour up together, I don't know. Hmm, I'll have to wait and see how the mood takes us. This one here is ice cream cake. And it's a lovely pink. Again, no shimmer, they're just block colours. It's really, really nice. I don't think it's a matte type. It doesn't dry dry. No, but it's really nice. So I do like that pink one there. I'll put a list of all these at the end of the video for you. In the description box, so you can have a little peek. A little girl type. I don't ever get free MAC, by the way. So, don't think, oh look at her getting all that. I do have to buy me MAC stuff. My, some companies send some stuff free. I got China Glaze stuff for free, which was really nice because I'm on a press release list. This one's little girl type. It's like a really nice lilac, same as the lipsticks look and the glosses or wherever they've gone. So it's a really nice lilac colour. I love that. And I don't have a nail varnish like it, so I'm looking forward to wearing that one. This one here is a minty, mischievous mint. That is lush. Cannot wait to wear that one. I'm sure this colour was in fashion a while ago. I'm sure it was. I remember seeing it everywhere, but I've got this one now anyway. I'm happy about that. So there's the nail varnishes. We've really got three more things to show you. And then I'm going to do a makeup look with some of it. Because I just fancy something quite new. Well, I'm not wearing any makeup today. I know it's quite scary. This one here is Giggly. It's the mineralised blush with a little heart in the middle. It's a really cute collection, mind you. But, let's have a look. There's the two colours. You've got that all over blush colour. And there's a little bit of like a, it's like a lilac. A dark, it's not a lilac, it's like a dark, plummy pink shimmer. Got no room to put them anymore on my hands. This one here is Sakura. That's the one I wore. And I love it. Do you know, it's really funny, a while ago, when I had the makeup palettes, there's a lilac colour in there, and Jean-Francois in Canada, done a makeup tutorial using it, and he used the lilac eyeshadow as a cheek highlight, and I was like, wow, I didn't even think of doing that, and it was lush, and now, <clears throat> I'm seeing lilac blushes everywhere, and here's one of them, Sakura, so it's lilac, get some on there. Really nice cheek colour, mm -hmm. and then you've got the touch of the pink to come through in there as well. I used that yesterday and it did look very, very nice. And then this here, <clears throat> peach with silver. Really nice combination. Haven't tried it yet, but I can see that that's going to look good. Oh, it's not a peach, it's not silver, it's green. Peach with green. This green bit will be great if you've got redness in your cheeks. Have a try. Look at that. Maybe you need to put some foundation on for it to stick to. You can still see something under there. But it'll get rid of redness. 
and the peach is really nice colour for highlighting. So they're really nice blushes there. I'm really happy with them. That's all the collection, apart from the mascara and the eyeliner. Spent a canny bit on it, but I do like it and I'm going to use it, so I don't mind. I don't mind when I'm going to use it, but I hate make, buying makeup just to say, oh, there you go, and then it goes in a cupboard, because that's a waste. And plus, I can't give it away because it's already been used. So, sometimes, it's just not worth it. But, at least I can have a good play with this, and I'm looking forward to using it all. Because there's some collections I've seen, I thought, I'm never going to use them again after I've shown you, so I'm not going to bother getting them. But, I like that one. I'm going to do a really everyday, simple, kind of pastel, spring-type look. I've got some videos coming up for you as well, which I can't tell you about yet. That should be already up, because it's on its way now, so I don't know when this video is going to go up, but you'll see. I'm going to get some more makeup looks done, and I haven't forgot about DLR, and I'm just trying to find a good background, and it's not easy, so... Oh, do you want to see the puppies? Come on. This is Chi Chi. You've already seen Chi Chi and look at the size of her now. She's getting huge and all her little colours are coming through. And this one here I've called her Tails. I was going to call her Gracie because of her colour hair but she's definitely more of a Tails because I've just put lip gloss on one of them. That's not good. We're going to get that off with a wet wipe. You wait there. This one here is Tails because she looks like something out of you know like Sonic the Hedgehog where they've got like a little waggly tail. A tail kind of comes flat out and just goes like that. And it's a lovely little thing. But she's tiny and she's a little cream cream sable, Pomeranian. And we got we took them to the show yesterday and they got the hair cut. So around the ears, got all trimmed and the little paws. And I learned how to groom them a little bit better as well. So I'm excited about that. So there you go. That's a new one. She's very tired. She's tired herself out playing with her, her friend in the pen. And they're getting on great, which is lovely, because they're like little sisters. It's quite cute. But there you go. I hope everyone's alright. Please let us know. I'll probably hang around again at the end of the video once it's uploaded to say hello to everyone and reply to some comments and stuff. So send them in. And again, look in the product list if you want to find out what I've been messing about with in the video. And I hope you're all great, and I'll see you all in a bit. Zoom, zoom. I'll get the remote in my hand one of these days. <laughs>